Hello everyone, it's me Evan, and welcome back to the channel. For now, this is going to be the final video in this series of ships. Um, and of course, being the last one, we're covering the biggest and baddest ship in the fleet, the Isopod. Heavy railgun battery, eight railguns up there heavy artillery battery <laughs> of all the guns you could imagine and they can all fire forward super firing over and past each other uh, in addition to a fixed railgun turret here which is kind of fun it's a very fun little gun um just a spattering of of guns studying this entire thing it's really one of my favorites uh this thing is a blast to play with, especially because this is when I really got into gyroscope armor. So if we take this ship, plop it down over here, let me show you something that's a nice and special. So if we just strip back this armor, check out what's going on in here lots of gyroscopes these gyroscopes are they make this fin section really tanky uh, very tanky and also they make the ship rotate like there's no tomorrow and of course there's also gyroscopes surrounding a lot of the internal structures that are very important uh, for instance they are clustered around um, you know, they're clustered around conveyor lines and stuff that are really important. Another thing, while well, I, uh, let me get rid of this actually. <laughs> A feature that I was going to forget about until now is if we put this over here, just a, a ways away from our actual nice model, it does have a scuttling feature. Um, so if we go up to this scuttling charges, it should blow a pretty sizable hole throughout the ship and basically total it. Um, I think this is the only ship I've done this with, but, uh, yeah, it kind of just severs the main command lines. Um, or the, the main cargo lines, I should say. So you can see the entire front of the ship is disconnected from the back of the ship's cargo. And, uh, I think, I think there's also, yeah, there was one, was it in here? I don't know. Uh, somewhere around here. Yeah, you can see blows out the middle, basically, of the, the ship. Not going to be very effective. Um, I should probably put some scuttling charges in the actual main engineering sections as well. But, you know, <laughs> the chances you would use that are very low anyway, so it's kind of just a funny feature. Um, let's, let's get into this review proper. This thing has a very heavy armor. Um, basically, Every forward-facing block on this ship is made of heavy armor, and it's at least two blocks thick everywhere, basically. So, um, other than some parts back here on the superstructure, which has some lighter armor, just because it's a little further out of harm's way, but this blade, this the blade of the ship here is just armor, 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 and it's got these lines of like. A lot of it's light on the surface, but then it's got these lines of heavy that are meant to stop uh, railgun projectiles that are coming through and raking the ship. It's meant to stop those specifically. So, yep. <laughs> let's get a, let's get let's get onto the interior because the interior is uh, extensive on the ship. I think it's rather nice. So if we start here, this is sort of like the the biggest airlock area, right? Got this nice cool room. We got some windows so we can see outside. 
It's really fun. It's not gonna, it doesn't compromise too much, honestly, just to have these windows here. We've got forward maintenance. If we go through, we're in a decompressed area here. You can basically get around to most of the serious maintenance areas without a jetpack, which is really nice. For a ship this size, it's kind of a, uh, yeah, it's good. There's enough into there's enough open interior space to actually be able to do that kind of stuff. So you can even get forward into this forward compartment. Um, beyond this sort of blast wall are where the rail guns are basically. If there's enough damage that rail guns are taken out, you're probably not going to be able to do much about it. But um, you know it's there in case things are going wrong and you can access it. All right. Actually, there's a part I missed of four maintenance. If we head down this ladder and crouch through this tunnel, we arrive in this section. This is probably this is probably the the biggest open area in the ship, which is kind of funny. Um, that it's just a depressurized maintenance area, but you can see a lot of gyroscopes on this main conveyor line. Very nice for keeping that conveyor line in action. So if we, I believe we can get up into, if we crouch, yeah, we can get up into this section here for some more maintenance access, just general stuff. Yep. And then if we hop the railing here, we can get back here, yet more, you know, maintenance. These gyroscopes are actually acting as part of the protection for the forwardmost hydrogen tank, actually. So, it's a little, little gyroscope bulkhead there, since they're very durable. Um, if we fly up here, go through here, you can see we've got some welders. Those are mostly covering artillery turrets on the exterior. Uh, we can go to the command deck slash engineering. And of course, on the way, there is some quarters here. Two bunks, chair, shower, bathroom, kitchen. Basic stuff, but nice little amenities. And then we get to here, this little hub. So we've got, this is access to the, um, the starboard airlock. Yeah, it's starboard airlock here. And it's the same on the other side. Uh, there are also little tunnels that go through the ship, um, for instance right here, you can kind of wrap your way around inside. Very difficult once you get into these tunnels because the, it's, uh, you know, it, imagine you're defending this ship and you have access to these tunnels and your enemy does not. It's kind of a big deal um, because these tunnels can go anywhere really. Uh, they can even access maintenance areas like here in this case. Also it's so cursed that this that this works. Like that's pressurized in there. Depressurized out here. A little, a little sketchy. Yeah. If we crawl our way through here you can see Everything is still being labeled. If we go here, this brings us to the reactor room here. We've got um, parts for both the jump drives that make up the floor and the reactor itself. Um, if we continue on, we get to a little hub here. And then past this, there are two smaller crew quarters, two bunks and a bathroom. Pretty basic, but got one on each side and then if we go this way this kind of gets us into the lower parts of the ship so you can see here we're now in a another maintenance area if you crash through here you can get to the jukebox and the gravity gen and of course you've got uh, space to repair these thrusters. If we go further down, we're actually going into the lower blade of the, like basically the superstructure on the underside. So you remember that railgun earlier? That railgun 
custom turret. This is the rotor for it. And it's getting, you know, a welder on it to keep it in the fight as long as possible. Uh, we've got the, I think this is the door timer right here. Yep. Um, another survival kit back here. Lots of redundant survival kits. But yeah, this is sort of like the the deepest, uh, not quite the deepest, let me go. Let me go down a little bit. There you go, there's one of the scuttling charges. So that's kind of fun. Yep, we can go back up this way. And through here. And then if we go up here, we are in the sort of main, uh, the main room of the ship, which kind of leads to all the other ones. So if we take these hallways, they lead us through to here, which is our airlock, our forward airlock access, basically. If we go through here, there's a little hub that can get us places, including the reactor room. Little vent hub, I guess. And then, of course, down this stairway gets us into the lower quarters here. And of course, those uh, bowels down there. Let's just close that door. I don't know why that one does not auto close. I must have swapped it at some point. Um, let's get into the CIC here just to show it off. I think it looks pretty nice. Kind of got the, the bunker feel to it with the angled roof and everything. I think that is going to be for a script if I ever get one running. Yep, just an armored CIC. Barely ever gets breached. It's uh, pretty durable. Got a lot of armor. These little side tunnels go through two doors. It's actually an airlock in here, which is kind of fun. And that gives us maintenance access for these thrusters here. Um, in fact, one of the reverse thrusters as well. And there's the same on the other side. It's got another identical maintenance access tunnel. That's basically the whole ship. I mean, I guess there is another maintenance section I can go to. And you haven't seen the rear airlocks yet. So, yep, right off the CIC, we've got some little windows in the superstructure you can look out. There's a little couch. Um, you can see the turrets and everything. One of the things that I, I really enjoyed doing was uh, putting up railing, actually, on this ship. It's kind of fun. So we got one of our airlocks here. Part of it goes into the this area, which where you have direct access to some of our um, some of our hydrogen tanks here. So good to have maintenance access. It also goes up so you can access more of the superstructure. Um, you kind of have to jetpack around in here unfortunately. It's not super intuitive. Uh, and I think if there there's a way to get up further I'm, if I recall. No? Maybe not. I think you have to access the rest of this area from the outside. Or maybe it's through here? No, never mind. Um, yeah, okay. So obviously it's kind of a tight maintenance area, but if we go out here, you can see that on the surface here, you can see these big old gun emplacements and everything. That's the superstructure we were just in, the upper fin, and then the lower fin of the superstructure. And of course, like I said, with those tunnels, you can actually get all the way down to here through the maintenance tunnels. Um, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, I just put up these little railings. I think they're fun. Kind of giving you a sense of scale for the, how big the ship is. Like these are normal sized railings. You know, this is a... It's a bit of a... It's a bit of a large ship, you know. 
but a mere mortal. Like... Oops. Right, kind of crazy. Um, just the scale of it all. Yeah, let's see here. There was one more spot. I believe you can access it from, yep, right here. This is the sort of rear. This is the only maintenance access that you basically need to go outside to get to, just because there wasn't a convenient place to put tunnels inside. Um, but obviously in here, you can see we've got access to the main reverse thruster banks and of course that doesn't go down too far but I think we can also can we fall through there? No we can't. Um, you can kind of use your jetpack to squeeze around through places but yeah so main thruster banks here uh, you can fix those I think that's basically it in terms of interior and stuff. So that's, uh, let's get outside and sort of wrap it up here. Oh yeah, we've also got a lone little uh, collector there. Three thrusters for upwards thrust. I think it's four for the point down here. Six, if I recall, the point that for, are for backpedaling. Yeah, six backpedaling thrusters. And I think it's six for each side as well. So six for the side, six for this side. And then a, a mighty, you know, what is that? 10 for pushing this thing forward. Let's, uh, let's get onto the mobility of this thing, because that's one of the high points of this ship, ironically enough, for it being so large. It is surprisingly nimble, um, partially because that I just massively loaded it with gyroscopes, but check this out. Look at that. See how fast that moves? Basically, um, this is really helpful for keeping small ships from, you know, flanking you essentially, because you can just keep your nose on them the whole time. And since the ship is very much optimized for keeping your nose forward pointed at the enemy, um, just so that all the guns can fire and so the armor's the most effective, because of that, it, the amount of gyroscopes you have is just super important. Um, it's frankly vital for the ship to work properly. You can see... I mean, it's not going to fly in the atmosphere, but this thing can you can book it if it needs to. It can get pretty fast, and then of course it can flip relatively rapidly for something of its size and weight, and do a counter burn. So. Yep, she's definitely one of my favorites, and I have not lost in this ship has not lost to like a peer opponent, something of the same you know rough weight and PCU. It did get pummeled to death by like twenty ships once. Uh, I was doing a battle with a friend, and we ended up going through like. 20 smaller ships or something. It, okay, it wasn't that much, but it was it was a lot. This thing is an absolute beast, and I'm really happy to put this out on the workshop. So, um, I think we'll end the video here. Make sure to check the description to see the ship. And uh, see you guys later. It's the last uh, ship showcase for a while. So, yeah, see you around.